This is the Xiaomi Thermometer and Hygrometer Pro. This is the one that is running full e-ink. You can see right there that says e-ink. It also says clock, thermometer, hygrometer, and it has Bluetooth. You can see that when they sent it to us, they sent it to us in a very thin DHL flyer, which is like just thin vinyl, and the thing got smashed. We hope the device is fine because we've never opened it. We're going to open it on camera with you right now, seriously. And that doesn't rip all the way through. And now I'm stuck. Actually, okay, there we go. Wow. Okay, we're opening it. So, ah, the device is fine. All right, let's explore the, the box first and we'll see what the device holds later. So we have some little stickies. This is the same as the one we've received before, except it's a different shape. We have a magnet, 3M tape on the back. We have one that you can stick on so it stands up, like a little prop. And we have just double-sided sticky tape. We have the manual. You can see, tells you some stuff. If you lose your manual, well, this is all we have to show you. And it is all in Chinese. Sorry about that. But we're here to help as much as we can. So there's the box right there. We will put that off to the side and explore the unit itself. Now, the one they sent us before was not running e-ink, yet the promotional pamphlet they had inside for our review and unboxing said it was. So there was obviously a communication error. So this thing is completely ated out, and you have to remove the little battery separator tab. And once you do, you have bridged the gap between the battery and the circuitry. And this is what you're left with. It's very nice. I really wish they used a matte screen like so many devices with e-ink can very well do. Um, the glare is enormous on this thing, so if you shine it at any sort of light, and the windows, studio lights, it's just going to become unreadable. But the viewing angle, if there's no direct source of light, is actually quite nice. You can take the back off, in which you do get two CR2032 batteries, which powers this thing. You see right there. And the back is user removable, of course, because if you ever do need to change the battery or you need to, well, I would say service, but you have to be techno technologically inclined to service this thing. You do have some access to the PCB, the printed circuit board, but it is user removable. They do have a little tab here. So what we're going to do now is you can see we are shooting this from our Japan office and it's 27.7 um, degrees. It should be about 35 today, which is going to be fun. But we are going to hook this up via Bluetooth to our phone and see what we can see. So there's obviously not too much to this unboxing or review because what you basically do is download the application from the Google Play Store. It's called Media Temp and that's that's it. You're, you're done. For Goody Reader, this is Peter. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. I'll show you a couple more things. But yeah, it's pretty simplistic. You will see here that um, it is updating every once in a while. And you can see that it is, uh, it did find this one, which is the lysd 3 mmc which matches this. You can click on that and you get live data. It is calibrating itself um, every couple minutes and it gives you all of the, well, all of your um, temperature and your uh, hygrometer settings, so the uh, humidity in the air. There isn't much else you can do with this device. Uh, you can't really, um, there's no buttons or no interactivity. It's basically just Bluetooth. You can see on the back there. There's no NFC or anything like that. And uh, because this is a review sample, we don't know what we're going to do with it. We won't install any of these, but it would be as simple as you ripping that off, putting that on there, and that would be the stand. So you can stand this up somewhere. You can stick this one and put it on there. And you have a magnet, stick it on your fridge or any uh, ferrous surface of metal and this is just double-sided tape as I said so stick it on the wall or something uh, make sure when you do that you know that you'll always have to have access to this little thumbnail thing to rip it off to get to the battery so make sure you don't put it in a place where you're not going to be able to access it if you do click on the setting wheel you do have a few more settings here you can correction offsets you can look at the device name you can 
uh, actually hide the visibility in the list of what you want it to show when it's live updating and whatnot. Device information, it'll just tell you all about what this device is, firmware version, although there's no way to really update it because it, it, it's just a passive device. It doesn't really need to be updated. So it's a very simplistic device, but it is a very nice looking device. It's it's quite nice. It's not too light, but it's not too heavy. I do like a little bit of heft to my devices, just kind of feels like you're buying something, your money's going somewhere, although this is a review sample. But it doesn't seem to come in any other color. You don't have to, you make sure you don't want to have that blocked or the top blocked because those are the temperature readings, of course. But yeah, it's pretty nice and it is e-ink. So yeah, if you guys want to pick one up, it is available in the store. And if you have any other questions, let us know for goodyreader.com. And a review and unboxing, I guess, of the, I don't even know what this is called specifically. I guess it's the Xiaomi Mi Hygrometer Pro, but it has a uh, bunch of uh, model numbers associated to it. LYWSD02MMC. So this is a brand new device. You can see 2020. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. And I hope you enjoyed me stumbling through this review. Thanks, everyone.